Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today I just wanted to jump on and do like a Find It Friday but sort of different. This is a faith collab sale that's going on in the Facebook, Instagram kind of community. And some of you guys may not be on Facebook or Instagram. And I just wanted to share with you guys this collab sale with all of these shops. And you can get a great discount off of a lot of the kits that you may have wanted over time but just didn't have the money to get it. This is a perfect time to stock up on those kits that you do not have but may have wanted. That's what I did. I did spend overspend, way overspend on my budget, but I refuse to buy any more kits this summer until I begin to use what I already have from these various shops. I love them so much and I get kind of hoardish, so I need you guys to hold me accountable to make sure, remind me Sherry, make sure you use those kits that you already purchased. We have to be accountable one to another and I'm open to that, so please remind me. Those of you who do comment below, every now and then just remind me please, <laughs> but I am working on it and I'm just going to plan out um, like kind of like a time frame to do certain things for example keys of kings of the keys of the kingdom okay i wanted to achieve three kits for this month to do in my bible or wherever or um <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> his palette something like that so i'm going to hold myself accountable and i'm asking you to hold me accountable because i totally have digital overload download download overload and um anyway i digress so I just wanted to share this shot with you. You have until the 25th. I'm going to put the code down below. A lot of the a lot of the shops already have the codes taken off, but please put it in just to make sure that you get that discount. And this is my Karen Safer moment because she always knows when there's sales going on, freebies. She is just like the queen of it. So check out her channel if you ever want to find out what's going on in these communities. She is the person to go too and i'll put a link to her channel below love her so much thank you for watching and remember if i can buy your journal so can you and let's move on to my walmart find i found it you guys may have seen it already so let's check it out take care simply guys this is it it's just a black journal that i found in walmart i happened to be in the store while on vacation and i first of all i aesthetically i love the look of it black with gold trimming it was very pretty and then when you open it up it lays flat and I love these kinds of journals because you can do a lot of faith art or art journaling in it I believe it's by pen, pen and gear I love their products but I threw away the other piece of the paper so I couldn't recall but I'm 99 point nine percent sure that it's pen and gear and I paid like five dollars and some change for it and I just thought it was another creative way to journal. I have other journaling books like this, but they have different color pages and I'm going to show you a few of those. But I just thought this was nice to have a solid black page, stark black and be able to work in it. And I'm going to do a quick process and perhaps it will inspire you to get a journal like this. And I just try on this channel to show you there are so many different ways to journal, some of which you know and may have not heard of. But I just wanted to show you that the, there's not one way or a right way to journal. You journal how you feel and what's in your heart and how you want to express yourself with the Lord. It's your time with the Lord. You just happen to see what I do on film so that I can inspire you. But everything that I do on film, I'm doing privately. I've done it privately. So you're just actually just hearing my conversations or hearing what I'm studying when I'm searching out the scriptures and the Lord is ministering to me through his word. So but for you, do it the way you see best. And again, I just try to show you some different ways that you can create in your Bible or in a notebook or in a journal that is inexpensive and fun and creative. And that's it. OK, so let's see how this process turns out. Here is one of my books. Uh, it's already completed or I've done in it as much as I can. Hood. I've decorated the pages. I've added colored cardstock, different kinds of backgrounds to it. If I'm not mistaken, this is a mixed media paper, so I was able to use different medium on it, and I use that a lot. And then I also have this one right here, which has that paperback kind of browned, brown 
background, which I love, and sometimes I cover it as well, but I still like that paper paper bag look, and I think it just gives a, a nice contrast to different colors from various kits. And I'm still working in this one. And so now I have one with black paper, which is also fun to use. This was a devotion from Our Daily Bread back in June. Actually, it was June 4th, and it's called Perfect Justice. And it's from Deuteronomy chapter 32, verses 1 through 4. And it talks about the justice of God. All God's ways are just. And I'm just going to read part of the devotion. No matter how hard we try and no matter how much good is done by our officials, human justice is often flawed. We never have all the information. Sometimes dishonest people manipulate the facts. Sometimes we're just wrong. And often evils may, may take years to be rightened if they ever are in our lifetime. Thankfully, Unlike fickle humans, God wields perfect justice. His works are perfect, says Moses, and all his ways are just, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 4. God sees things as they truly are. In time, after we've done our worst, God will bring about final, ultimate justice. Though uncertain of the timing, we have confidence because we serve a faithful God who does no wrong, Upright and just is he. That's verse 4 of chapter 32, verse 4. We may be dogged by uncertainty regarding what's right or wrong. We may fear that the injustices done to us or those we love will never be made right. But we can trust the God of justice to one day, either in this life or the next, enact justice for us. Justice belongs to God. Vengeance belongs to to him and I'm just so grateful for that word because we just live in a world where it just seems like evil prevails and evil wins and we know that that's not true because the Lord told us to fret ourselves not because of evil doers nor he that prospereth in his way because he will soon be cut down so there is a direct promise from God that it won't last forever injustice wrongdoing hatred um, unrighteousness <clears throat> will not go unpunished. And in Psalm 7, 11, it says the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. So we don't have to fear what's going on in this world. Pray for God's protection. Ask him to keep us when those things happen. But know that perfect justice will come. And that's, I take great comfort in his word. I take great comfort in what he has said. And that is just my desire like lord i may not see it in this life and it seems like people are getting away with the things that they say and the things that they do the things that they try to cover up but it's okay because you see all and you know all and all i have to do is walk uprightly before you and you'll take care of all of my enemies i'm not going to dishonor you by tending to them because vengeance belongs to you thank you for watching i hope you are inspired and encouraged by god's perfect justice. Take care.